morning guys and welcome to my office. Today we're going to be getting part one of basically the makeover of this room. So today we're going to be painting it and then hopefully in the next few days we're going to be able to set everything up in it, get it all organized and really just make it a really productive space that I can work, film, have guests in because this is also our guest bedroom and all of that. So let me show you the paint color we're going to be painting it. I have a swatch on the wall. I think it's this one right here. It's called Chantilly Lace. So this is the color we're painting today. We're doing it all ourselves. So right now we're going to start setting down tarp in here so we can paint, doing the edging, um, all of that. So I'm excited to take you guys along and show you the process. Before we get started though, let me show you a little quick before so that we can really see the transformation when it takes place. So this is what the room looks like now. It's kind of like a beige color that we have on the walls. And what we're going for is a nice bright white to really take advantage of the amazing light that this room gets. So that's the plan. And then eventually we're going to hopefully transform this space into something that's really beautiful and functional too. But right now we're going to begin with painting. Okay, step number one is done. The tarp is now all across the floor, so hopefully the carpets will be protected. The next step in here is just going to be to tape everything down and then we'll be ready to begin painting. Update, everything is now taped down. It looks like a blue highlighter literally just went through this whole room. But everything's taped down, which feels great because I feel like that's always the most like monotonous and just boring part of painting really. From here, we actually get to start putting paint on the walls and see the transformation take place. That's going to be really fun. It is lunchtime though, so I am going to take a quick break drink some water, I'm very thirsty, I've not had nearly enough to drink today, um, eat some food, yeah, just relax for a few minutes before we begin the painting job. But I'm excited to have this done, and from here, I feel like we're really going to get to like see the transformation take place in this room, which is gonna be great. So, taking a quick break now, and we'll pick it up in a bit. Okay, break is over, time to get to painting. We're just putting a little something down now so we can pour the paint more safely, hopefully. Yeah, sure. The stir isn't there. Going to stir the paint up though and then start doing the trim. We are making progress on this room. We have now done the trim for the entirety of the room uh, twice. So we've got two layers of coat on the trim. And now the final step is going to be to give it two coats of the roll, but I can already kind of see the color that's coming in and I love the bright white. I feel like that's, it's going to look so nice when it's done. But now we're going to start the rolling and finish up with the painting of the room. Okay, so it is now several hours later. The sun just set. It's like 6 p.m., but the room is now painted. We've got two coats on. It's had a little bit of time to dry now. So the last thing that we're going to do tonight is going to be to pick up all of the painter's tape. And then after that, we're just gonna, I think, hang out for the night, feeling really good about the progress we've made. But honestly, I'm pretty exhausted. I think we've been at this for like eight or nine hours now. So very ready to be done. Excited to peel up the paint not the paint, the tape. You can see how tired I am. Yeah, excited to do that. And then just lounge for the rest of the night. Okay, 
the tape is all now picked up. So is the tarp, I just vacuumed in here. So this room is looking really good. I think tomorrow we're going to try moving all the furniture in and I'll try to show you the color then because it just all looks really yellow because we've got the, the light from the ceiling on right now. But really proud of the progress we made and I think that tomorrow this office is going to be looking in good shape. So we're gonna chill for the rest of the night. Sorry, Christopher is drilling something in the background. Um, we're gonna chill for the next rest of the night and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, different day, same hair. Honestly, I just could not again today be bothered to do my hair differently. And this is a easy and comfy hairstyle, especially for working around the house. So that's perfect. Uh, today though, the paint is now dried, which is really exciting. Um, I actually love how it came out, even though it's a really gloomy day. I just feel like it's so bright and beautiful in this space and it's going to be just really inspiring to work from. So excited about how that came out. But today our goal is going to be really just to set this area up so that I can start working in here. So we have a bookshelf that's going to house all of our books that we're going to build today, or I should say Christopher is going to build it. He finds building furniture really therapeutic, which I love because I find it just to be this like horrendous puzzle that I'm inevitably going to mess up. So he's going to build our bookcase and then I'm going to start bringing in some of the other pieces of furniture, maybe hanging up some stuff. And hopefully by the end of today, this place will really be feeling just ready to be used, which is really exciting. So that is the plan for today. Excited to see the progress and let's go. So the bookshelf is now all set up and I love the way that it looks. I think it's going to be perfect for really just functionally storing everything. Although we might need to get a few bookends to really make it work, but I'll see what we can do with what we have right now. I also brought my desk in here. So the next step is really going to be setting up my desk in a way that's really functional, easy for me to work with, easy to use and all of that and then also unpacking all of our books and putting them on the sky. I feel like once we have these two pieces in, it's going to be really easy for it to kind of like come together. So let's do that now. Okay, so here's the setup for the desk. I like keeping things really simple when it comes to kind of my workstation. So I just have the chair, a blanket, because I get cold while working during the winter and I just like being cozy. I have my laptop here, my bullet journal. I basically use this all the time while I'm working. So I like having that nice and on hand. And then I have a little polea plant here I just love having like a little plant by my desk. And then this box holds things like uh, my pen for the bullet journal, a few like papers of things I need to follow up on. So like we're probably going to get our backyard fenced in. So I have the information for that. Some, uh, what are these called? Headphones, yes. I wanted to call them AirPods. Those are right here. For whatever reason, when I'm editing videos, I like using headphones as opposed to my AirPods. So I have those and then I have a tape measure. Honestly, I just find that tape measures come in really handy and I always want one when I'm at my desk. So I just keep that there. I have an extra SD card in here and then this little llama, which has absolutely no practical purpose, but it's really cute. So that's what stays in there. And it's just like an easy way, especially since my desk doesn't have a drawer or anything of just keeping what I need organized and in one place so that it's accessible, but also not causing like a mess uh, or at least a messy appearance for my desk. So that is the desk setup. And now let's move on to the bookshelf. Christopher put this plant up here and then the easel 
for the painting he's working on here. So we decided that since Christopher's drum set is in his office and there just isn't a ton of space, that we would just use this as like my office slash our studio. So my painting supplies are in the closet over here and then he's got his easel here. And we'll just keep all our painting supplies in here. I personally feel like it just adds a little creative energy to the space, so I'm totally cool with that. But yes, that's why his painting or his easel is in here. Now though, let's get to unpacking these boxes and setting up the bookshelf. Okay, so the books are all unpacked. I know they look super attractive like this. But now what I'm going to do is put them up onto the bookshelf. So I'm thinking we'll probably do like the reference books. We've got a lot of like Christian faith reference books that we'll put on the bottom. And then towards the top, I'll probably do some more of like the novels and fictional books and just try to sort it all generally by category. Although I might just play around with it and see what I think looks good. Okay, so a small change in plans. Just out of curiosity, I wanted to see what it would look like if I decided to organize the books on the bookshelf by color. And I really like the direction it's going. I think we have few enough books that it still should be fairly easy to find whatever books we need. So I think that this obviously could be prone to changing later on, but I think that for the time being, I'm going to just stick with organizing them by color. I think it's a really like fun and cheerful way of kind of setting up a bookshelf. I know that this idea is definitely not for everyone, but I think that for my creative brain, I do really like just kind of that idea of making it kind of interesting visually. So I'm going to continue on with that, but just wanted to give you a little update about what I'm kind of thinking through as I'm organizing these books. fully set at this point, but I finished organizing our bookshelf. And I think that this is going to be a good kind of short-term solution. Eventually, I would love to find some cool bookends that we can use to keep all the books up, but we just don't have those right now. And rather than just like rushing out and buying a bunch of stuff so that I have it, I'd rather wait until I find things that I really like. And at that point we can kind of use them as bookends. But let me flip you around right now and I'll show you kind of how I've got it organized. So here it is. I've got all of the white books on one shelf, black books on another shelf. And then down here is kind of like the rainbow section. We've got kind of red, orange, yellow, and then green, purple, and blue. And then just up at the top, we have our globe, a little plant, a few of the bigger books that just didn't quite work in other spots. And then I guess this is beige, we can call it. But that is the bookshelf. And I think it is kind of cool the way it has, I feel like it's almost like a castle, the way that the books are outlined but I think this will work as a good solution until I find some bookends we like. So at this point, we're really getting to a place where this room is almost done. There are a few kind of finishing touches I want to do though. Right now we don't have anything at all hung up on the walls. So I want to hang some stuff up. I also might put a rug down here. I'm still playing around with a few ideas, but I think that I'm going to get some dinner and just hang out for the rest of the night. And then tomorrow I'll work on hanging stuff up and really just finalizing this space. So I'll talk to you guys then. Good afternoon guys. So we are now on to day three of this little office makeover. Although, especially in the past couple of days, I've had a lot of other stuff going on too. But today I really want to do the finishing touches for this room and get some stuff hung up on the walls just to bring a little bit more personality and character into this space, especially since this is going to be my office and where I like to do a lot of creative things. I want this space to really reflect that. So I have a few pieces of art that I've done, things that I've kind of collected over the years, uh, things from travels and yeah, just a few miscellaneous items that I want to hang up 
on the walls today. And then also I think I might try putting a rug down in this room. It's actually the rug that we used to have in our living room back at our apartment, but I wanna see what it looks like in this space since we are getting a bigger rug for our new living room. So let's get to figuring out where everything's going to go and hanging it up on the walls. Okay, so I've got all of the art pieces laid out here and I've got some of them grouped together in pairs because uh, I want to be able to kind of display them together. So let me show you them right now and then let's kind of talk through where I'm thinking of hanging them. Okay, so starting from the left, we have my YouTube plaque. I'll probably keep that one up by itself since it doesn't really fit the aesthetic of some of these other pieces and I feel like it would be nice just to display it by itself. And then right here, I have this little grouping of three. This is a hand-painted picture of the Parthenon from when I went to Greece. This was a watercolor I did a couple months back, a little embroidery that I did as well. And I like kind of the color combination that you have going on there. I feel like it works well. So I'll be displaying all of those together. Over here, we have another little set of three that I want to display with each other. This is honestly just like a printout of an art print that I got on Etsy. I think it's nice, I like the colors. Honestly though, I might change it out at some point, but I like it for now and I think it works well with the rest of these here. So you have this macrame that I got from a girl, I don't think she lives in Charlotte anymore, but she used to make macrame and sell it in the Charlotte area. And then this Christopher got, it's like clay, I think, and it's from the country of Georgia, and I think it looks really cool. So I'm going to display those three together. And then finally, I have another print. This is from the same Etsy shop. I actually really love this one, but this is from the same artsy shop as that one. And we just got them printed out. And so again, I think I'll display that one by itself and just make it a bit more of a statement piece. So now what I want to do is decide where on the walls I want to display each of them and then get out my command strips and my little push pins and start hanging stuff up. Okay, so everything is now hung up. You can see some of the paintings on the wall behind me. My play button is right there. Although the sun is kind of making that difficult to see. But the last thing that I want to do before I kind of wrap this project up is put a rug down underneath my desk. And I think it's just going to add a nice little cozy element to the room. And then after that, I think we're done. Like I was saying before, I'm sure we'll add kind of other elements to the room and tweak things as we go. But I'm really happy with how this project is turning out and I'm excited to finally show you the completed thing. So the rug is in and I really like how it looks. I feel like we really did need something just to kind of tie the space together and I think it does a good job. So what I want to do now is just kind of finally you've seen all the pieces of it, but let's have a little completed quick room tour. Okay, so coming in through the door, you have the lovely mountains painting and I feel like it kind of sets the tone well for the rest of the room. To the left hand side you have my desk and this is like I mentioned before our old rug so it does have a few stains on it to be honest so maybe I'll replace it at some point but I love how it just kind of frames the desk that looks out at the window I love being able to look out kind of at something while working so this is just so perfect then I walked you through the desk already we've just got our little plant box my bullet journal laptop pretty basic then over here, I have a little elephant ear plant. I think this is just such a cool looking plant. I love the leaves on it. it. Just looks so cool to me. And then over on this side, ooh, that's hard to see. Let me see if I can do anything about that. You have my YouTube plaque for hitting 100,000 subscribers. So I love that that's right by my desk because I can just 
look over and have that lovely reminder. And then over here, we have the first set of the three pictures. So I already kind of shared each of these to you, but I do really like hung up how they look next to the bookshelf. Love how this turned out though, and how we've kind of got a, a good combination of, it's very visually appealing, it's very visually interesting, which definitely inspires my creative side. But then I also love the fact that, you know, it's very practically laid out. I have space for all of my books and I can really easily see them. I have actually tested, you know, getting out some books, trying to find different books. And it really, I think because we don't have too many, isn't that difficult. So I think I'm pretty happy with this kind of book arrangement and we'll keep it that way for a while. And then we have Christopher's Easel. We have an extra, this is just like a giant canvas that's going to stay in here until it gets used. And then finally, right by the light switch, you have the last three, which is just the macrame, the little Moldova plate or decorative piece, and then this watercolor. So that is the room and it's mid afternoon now and you can probably tell why I love this room so much. It just gets the most beautiful light at this time. I'm really excited with how this place came out. All right, well, that is my completed office makeover. And honestly, I am just blown away by the fact that this was an empty beige room three days ago. I love how it's looking now. I'm definitely feeling inspired to be able to work in this space, which is really exciting. And I'm, yeah, just looking forward to the future of productive and inspiring work that I have in this space. Now, I want to know though, what is your favorite part of this little room makeover? Be sure to comment that down below. And if you were interested in anything kind of featured in this video, I'll try to link to any of the furniture items or anything like that in the description box below. So if you have any questions, check there. I'll hopefully have something linked for you. So that's everything I've got for you today. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button below for more simple and intentional living videos coming your way. But thank you all so, so much for watching. I love you all so much and I'll see you in the next one.